finished. Her mama wants her to come back in a tin blade all over with just some cocker ears and a little crown. So we're going to take this opportunity to show you um, a couple of different things that you can do on your pet cockers in your salon. Um, even if you're not cutting them down from show coat, I just want to give you guys just some options. And um, before anybody asks, this is a snood. It's 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 just material with um, elastic on each end. It keeps her little ears out of the way so she doesn't get them in her mouth. And we put it on her when she eats or when we're trying to keep her ears clean. Um, so one of the really cool ones that I like to do uh, on these guys, if, if your customer wants a little bit of hair and they want it to really still look like a Cocker Spaniel, um, I take uh, one of my larger combs. This is an A comb and I'm just going to skim off. And what I do is I skim off the legs and then I leave the skirt. Um, Another option before I do this, if you wanted to do, uh, depending upon your client, if you wanted to do more like kind of an Asian fusion kind of thing, you could take your uh, short blade and take the whole skirt off and then just leave your legs longer. Oh, so cute. that would be really cute too, but I can't do that if I, if I start cutting, so I just want to show it to you because it's not, I don't want to take off the skirt for this particular thing because I want to show you how to make the skirt shorter and still make it look like a cocker. Um, and then also this back is still stripped. Um, but you could do, you know, you could do the back with a five or a four or a two comb to make it look more natural but not stripped. Or you can strip the back and then clipper the legs. So those are several different options you can do depending upon what your client wants. Um, but what I do is because this is the stuff that always mats where they move. What I do is I take my A comb and I just skim. So now you're still getting this kind of a cocker spaniel look, but it's shorter. And you can skim this as short as you want. And if you're interested in how to bevel the feet, we did that in the last video and I can't redo it. Um, but you can see that you can get more of a cocker look with this big fluffy leg. Just skimming the hair off. Turning this into more of an actual modified cocker trim. And then I don't take too much off of here because if we take too much off of here, that takes away from the cocker look, this part right here. And then what I do is I shorten that up from the bottom. So we're just going to do one side of the dog because if you're a groomer and you want to check out how to do this, one side's plenty. One side is plenty. And then we take this and we modify it. And we make this skirt short as we want okay so you can pull it up like that you can pull it all the way up here and make it straight so now your customer still has a cocker cut does that make sense customer still has a cocker cut but your leg is blended down and this is really floofy does that make sense to everybody? Does that make sense to you? Because you don't know how to groom. Does that make sense to you? So we've got a cocker cut with a modified look. If you have a client that's able to keep up with that. But, so I mean, I've had... would you say that is on the line? Um, well, we'll find out. Probably down towards the bottom, you're still looking at anywhere from two to two and a half inches. They comb them and brush them, but you know those are those are your unicorn clients. This is for this is for your unicorn client that doesn't want all that hair hanging on the ground, but they still want it to look like a cocker. I'm holding this hair from the other side out of the way. 
and then you take and modify the front of this leg down here and just trim that in and then shorten this up around the back of the hock skim it with your clippers and then trim it if you want to There's lots of different ways to do this and still keep kind of a cockerish look. And then if you have those people that want a shorter skirt, take the whole skirt off. Instead of leaving it all long, you can make it more layered with your comb. Okay, so now I'm going to skim this front leg down a little further into a full-on suburban trim. Take it all the way down to the foot. Or you can press harder and make it shorter. Again, this is all about like making this better for your customer but still making it look like a cocker. And we actually called and she's not used to having this done. <laughs> she's like 18 months old and never been cut down before so you can imagine she's going to be a little fussy. Um, but again, you know, you can you can trim all of this down. Good girl. All the way around, on the other hand. And you can actually take the whole leg off. You don't want all this stuff to mat. And when I'm not using my clipper vac, I always end up cleaning everything up. So please don't don't judge the rough cut. This is this is simply an instructional thing to help you guys think of maybe some different things you can do for your clients' dogs in your pet store, or your pet salon, grooming salon, whatever. Okay, and that's still that's still a hand stripped back. So it looks really cute and cockerish, and of course we'll trim all this up and fix it. But I want you guys to just see the idea, and then we'll probably tighten the feet a little bit too. So that way she doesn't have, because it does look a little bit big from being underneath all of that furry cocker hair. But as you can see, I'm really not taking a whole lot off of the foot off of the feet because underneath there that foot is really tight underneath all of that fuzz. Okay? So that just kind of gives you guys ideas. I know that kind of looks wonky, but I'm hoping you can we will. see our our idea of how to do that.